in my never-ending pursuit to find the nicest motor coaches in the world, I struck gold today. Behind me is a 2022 Newell coach that has more features, more technology than I've seen on any RV in the world. This coach has truly raised the bar in the motor coach industry. Everything from the paint design to the AV equipment and all of the subtle touches that the owner of this coach really pushed the industry. Today you guys are in for a treat. Not only are we going to take you on a tour of this coach, but the owner that designed it is going to show us everything going on. And ladies and gentlemen, we have found Adam, who's responsible for this coach. How are you doing today, sir? Good. How are you, Andrew? Excellent, excellent. So we're in your brand new 2022 Newell coach. Uh, what's the story, sir? Just uh, hanging out here at Premium Coach Group with you, Andrew, and uh, trying to show the folks at YouTube uh, the new coach. This coach is unlike anything I've ever seen. I mean, you've truly raised the bar in the motor coach industry. You want to show us around the coach here and, uh, and tell us a little bit about what's going on? Absolutely, Andrew. Just a pleasure to have you and uh, show off this coach. This coach is uh, uh, a long time in the making, six, seven months in the making, and we're very, very pleased with it. It uh, it's definitely checked all the check marks and of what we like so it might not be everybody's cup of tea but we definitely uh, are enjoying it right now i've seen a lot of the brand new newell coach cockpit areas but this coach has got some stuff i've never seen before the first thing that really catches my eye is the triple screens up here um, as well as these huge screens. And what's the story with what we're seeing here? Why is your coach different than any other 22 Newell I've seen? So from the factory, you normally get a 10 inch screen up there and you can have whatever. So from down here on the valid display, you can send whatever image you want to that center uh, screen. So if I just press here, the button, it'll send this image up there. Normally I like to have the rear camera up there that's the standard view and it's labeled their rear camera so on our previous coach which was the king air we had the lower mirrors so when you have the lower mirrors you look to the left you've got the camera here and you look to the right so in this coach with the upper mirrors i wanted to keep my eyes focused at a higher plane oh yeah so that's why we have the left camera always showing there the right camera always showing and then this is selectable so i can keep my uh, view when I'm changing lanes up at the top. The other thing it helps with is when you automatically put on your turn signal, it would generally default to the left camera, but then you lose the Jeep in the background so you don't know when you're ahead of the car you're trying to pass. So this way I can always keep a static image of the Jeep there and know when I'm past to be able to pull into their lane. Nice, nice. So I came up with this. This is what I wanted. We, I built it and then sent it to Newell and they integrated it. So those are three 8-inch screens versus the single 10-inch screen. Also noticing the red carbon fiber, diamond stitching, uh, suede steering wheel. What's, what's some of the other stuff going on? I know that Newell uses this black carbon fiber. I love the cockpit of the Newell compared to the Prevo. The Prevos look 1980s to me and I spent a lot of time behind the wheel. So I wanted something that's more modern. The King Air was okay with the two big 10 inch screens, but I really love this Newell cockpit. And they use this black carbon fiber. So I went on the website and they had a red carbon. So I said, could we just swap out the black carbon for red carbon? And then that took a whole nother direction where the accent color turned out to be red carbon. Uh, the problem with this is with the black carbon fiber, it's just a regular weave. The way they get the red carbon is to put in red Kevlar in the weave, which is incredibly hard to work with and cut. So it definitely presented more challenges than I had hoped for the guys, but basically they finished. We even have a red carbon fiber pole here on the entry step. We have red carbon fiber dash panels. And then if you look up on the roof, Andrew, we've got red carbon fiber inlay in the ceiling so it really adds a whole another dimension to this coach um and that was our sort of design that we went with was the the red carbon and all the red accents and so what else is going on in this coach um well basically we've got this 
crazy, crazy AV system that I appreciate. And I don't know if it's everybody's as a cup of tea, um, but it's a very, very um, intensive AV system for a coach specifically. We do, so my company that I own, we focus a lot in uh, high-end commercial and residential audio video. So we're definitely, know what I like and it, we're not a DIY kind of solution. So we've got the top of the line products in here uh, from companies like Crestron, QSC, uh, Meyer Sound, which I, I can guarantee has never been put in this kind of application before. Uh, but we'll, we'll give you the tour and see what you guys think. Yeah, so I want to talk more about the electronic components, but let's talk about the design in this coach. Uh, I mean, everything from the rug to the pillows, um, all the diamond stitching. What's what's some of the stuff that we're seeing in the design here? Well, basically this is uh, what you get when you buy a Newell. You have access to uh, Amber. She's one of the designers there and she just takes you through step-by-step step all the different elements. And literally there's four different fabrics for the roof, uh, for the ceiling. So there's this silver, which is like a brush silver leather. There's this uh, white leather as well. Then we've got, this is like a snakeskin fake, snakeskin leather we've got. Then we've got this silver leather as well. There's just so many elements and you get to go through this whole selection process with them and choosing all of the uh, different styles and whatnot. And then they let you do so a lot of, most newels by standard come with uh, the drapes here to cover over the windows. And we didn't like the drapes. We just felt that um, the, the only window that we can't block is the front door, so we wanted to delete the drapes and make this a little cleaner um, than normal. So we went without the drapes and then they custom made this um, seatbelt cover for us because the seatbelt cover would normally be covered by the drapes. So they went ahead and they had to, you know, fix that problem by creating this for us. Uh, the other thing we did here, they normally have this acrylic panel uh, to cover over some of the gauges. I didn't like the look of that kidney shaped acrylic panel. They said no problem and they created a little uh, pop-up door for us. So it has everything that the um, standard Newell has just in a different uh, finish. So they're definitely open to whatever you want, whatever you like, um, they'll help with that. We've even got the red carbon here on this GPS uh, system. So they're, they use that throughout. We completely redesigned the audio system for the dash. So normally they have, um, they have two options. They have their standard or they have their premium um, audio package. And I basically said I wanted to design my own. So we have, um, these are Focal speakers. We've actually, they've never done this before. Uh, mounted the tweeters on the oh, eight, yeah. eight pillars, just like you would in a higher end audio system. So we've got six and a half component, -ish, uh, component speakers here. We have a six and a half uh, coax speaker for the center. And then we have the other speaker over there. And then we have, um, this is actually a 10 inch uh, JL Audio thin sub. Oh, nice. That's a standard Newell location, standard Newell box, uh, half cubic foot interior volume. So we found a speaker that matched there and put that in. And then we have, uh, for when we're driving, we have a control knob right there that's lit up red, of course, because it has to be red. So yeah. that's uh, my audio and sub control for uh, the audio and I have different presets so I can preset it for driver focused or both focused. Um, so it's all part of the, uh, the audio system that we put in and we, we drive it off of the main Newell dash here, uh, which has everything we need as a source. Nice. So talking about red, we've already mentioned red a couple times in this coach. Your previous coach, who uh, premium coach group where we're hanging out, helped you sell. And we did a whole nother video where Adam talks about his whole experience going from the King Air to, to this Newell. But your King Air was blue. Everything in this coach is red. I don't see any blue. What's, what's the story? We just wanted to do something different. So we had the blue in the King Air and uh, we wanted to just change things around and, and give us a different look. And I think there wasn't a lot of blue at the time that we did the King Air. We're seeing a lot more blue now. Um, and then the red, uh, we're just starting to see a little bit more of. So again, it's a brighter color. We wanted to get away from the traditional, the bronzes and the dark greens and the browns. We definitely like the different style that maybe not a lot of people like, but this is what we like. And this is definitely our signature edition. Noticed on your paint job, and we're gonna go take a look at the paint job on this coach. And Adam's gonna explain some of the detail work of what we've seen in the paint job. But I'm noticing some of the same patterns 
in the paint job are looking familiar inside of this coach. These these pillows right here, is that the same kind of pattern I was seeing in the paint job there? Uh, it, it's a little bit like it with that geometric shape. We've got um, a hexagon shape in the back shower that we brought out to the outside, and then we have some other trick uh, paint schemes that we worked with. So I really don't like coaches that look like they're designed by two separate people. One on the outside has a dark, very... Um, uh, old school look to it then the inside is all white and shiny and and different looks so i really like how we brought the outside in and vice versa so the carbon you'll see both in and out um and the red shapes uh, red colors and then the geometric shapes from the back so we got the two recliners here so in the previous coach we had a fireplace we have a we have a great dane now we used to have two great danes uh but in the previous coach we did a uh, fireplace instead of the second couch to give the turning radius room for uh for the dog so this this coach does get a little bit narrow now uh but the recliners help and we've got a nice place to sit so we've got a 49 inch tv up here that we can uh watch tv on just want to do basic watching we've got a 65 inch on a pop-up this is a sony oled tv again i think uh, newell normally uses lg so um i i'm a sony fan so we went with a 65 inch pop-up there we've got a 32 inch uh, happens to be a samsung here it's the only 4k 32 inch tv on the market so it's hard to find but we want 4k throughout um that we've got a projector in the back and we've got a 55 inch uh oled outside so that's the kind of the visuals that we've got going on what else do we do custom here um we saw this in another coach uh that newell did um i think it was 1685 so it's got a nice white countertop but we backlit it to give us a little bit of color and we can obviously change the color of that um, what they've never done before which we didn't ask for but they just went and did it because they know us and they know we'd appreciate it so this is our pop-up here it gives it a little bit more counter space and they also backlit that for the yeah, first time yeah i've never seen that with the underlit with kind of that red glow below the white countertop just incredible and one thing that i've got to point out that keeps catching my eye while we're looking at this is this rug right here the way this rug uh f ties in the floor together and then this kind of like credenza p or not creden uh kind of um a coffee table there i don't even know what you would call that um so it's called the david ottoman so they asked uh, somebody to come up with a new design and there's a cabinet guy there named David and he designed this ottoman So this is the David ottoman David huge shout out one of the coolest looking furniture pieces I've seen in any other RV and then of course all these cool little touches uh, Last night when it was dark Adam was showing us the lighting I don't know if we're gonna see it as much right now but at nighttime when that glows, it just gives it a great look. And I've got to get you guys a close up on all of the different little details, like the black diamond leather, uh, just in the little remote holder and just, just over the top, Adam. They, so. they definitely do a great job. And as I say, we specified a lot of the stuff in this coach, but then they went way over the top and come up, came up with things that we did not even think of. Um, so really, really pleased with this. They recommended this as a, a Wilson Art laminate uh, that they, of course, uh, book match as best as they can. But this is a matte finish, which we really like. We didn't want more gloss. One of the things we did was we put in pop-ups. So these are uh, induction chargers for your phones. But then if you need more outlets, you've got USB and you've got more charging outlets. Again, you can never have enough outlets when you're in a coach for all of our electronics these days. But we wanted to keep it clean without a whole bunch of outlets on the walls and that kind of stuff. We've got some hidden outlets up here. Um, we have a nice window in the kitchen, which we never had before. So we're pleased with that. That adds uh, just another element when you're here in the kitchen. They got the, um, uh, I forget what this kind of material is called, but it's a, a composite sink versus the stainless sink it's a little smaller than the previous coach um but we're seem to be happy with that so far um the hands growy custom faucet was one of the ones that she picked out for us so again we she really amber um really got to know us very well over those three days and really came up with a lot of things that we like can, can you show us that faucet sorry you showed that off. Oh, yeah. i've never seen one of these this is something so, like so standard faucet like you normally have you can do all your dishes there but if you're washing plates it's got a waterfall feature that you can nice. actually wash the plates here so too uh, cool sorry go ahead yeah getting a little trick thing that she found for us that 
um, definitely something we didn't expect. Yeah, and while you were pointing that out, I've got to just get a close-up of this backsplash here to show that texture. I mean, the materials that Newell uses and then the sconce lighting. Is this, did they pick out that? Absolutely, it's part of Amber's design package. So with the plant here that, and everything's all attached. So you can go down the road with this, also attach the cherries uh, that we really like, and then this, uh, this X, uh, fixture that she got us here. So she really, all the pillows, everything is all customized and picked out by her. So we really appreciate um, the work she's done. Even the plates, I gotta show you the plates here, Andrew. Oh yeah. They got a nice red swirl to them and they came with all these drawer organizers, which we really like, helps keep things organized and, and safe, uh, doesn't move around. So really they've done a great job with this. Even our cutlery, they've got the leather lined drawers for the cutlery uh, with these dividers. So really, really, it's just the finishing touches that you don't normally find. Um, people want to put in that extra, extra effort to get you all of this stuff. and. Uh, they really did a great job. Yeah, and, and I noticed when we came in the coach, it's different now, but your TVs had a, a video of your coach playing. And then also over here, I've got to show everybody this. This is a book of the coach actually with all kinds of different pictures uh, that that came with a coach. Just another cool little treat. Uh, and then uh, didn't they do something else? Oh yeah, so they have that you know, that front image shot, I think, or, or one of the interior shots they took. They actually got a custom puzzle made for us um, with all the uh, the main Newell picture. So it's very cool. Just it's those little details that you don't ask for and you can't put a value on, but it just shows the, the level of commitment they are to bring you into that Newell family when you spend this kind of money and you put this much time and effort into their product, um, they really uh, show you that they care as much as you do. So The flooring too, I've got to point out the flooring is a brand new style with these huge uh, tiles, like you can't even really see the seams. What's the story on the floors here? So we again with uh, with the dogs, we didn't want anything super shiny or glossy, and this is actually a concrete uh, manufactured concrete tile. Uh, it comes in, I think, six foot or eight foot by four foot sheets that they cut down. And what they do here, so this is a drop right here in the floor. This is the center of the coach. This is another drop. So they kind of try to line up all the grout seams, so you really can't see where the uh, retractable floors are. And it's just a nice finish. Um, it's really hard to stain. It's a good quality uh, product. It's just a little different. And we didn't want more design in the floor because there's so much going on up here. We wanted the floor to be fairly simple. In the previous coach, we had this Euro din dinette that uh, looked really cool. It had a motorized table, but it just seemed to be really uncomfortable to get in and out of. And so we went with a more traditional style dinette here, which is nice. This does extend out um, and you can put a leaf in the table uh, so you can get four plus people here if you really want to. And we don't have to deal with the chairs. We had the external chairs in the last one. So this is a cool table. Yeah. Top. Let me tell you about this. So it came from a company in Colorado and this is a, a steel top that they put on it. They grind it, they texture it, and then they uh, paint it to match. Uh, so this is a raw steel coated and this is a color that they do. And this is the same design actually as the ceiling where the, this is the red carbon fiber in the ceiling. So we kind of matched it to tie the ceiling into the table. Again, we. I like when things go together and they look like they're supposed to be there. So again, um, a little different. We also did the uh, red speakers here. So just another cool little fun treat um, so with the red, bringing all the accents. This is a, the Newell uh, does this uh, glass curio cabinet here, which is nice. We added the side panel and glass so you get to see it from both angles. Oh, Sometimes yeah. that's solid on this side. I like you that. Get it with the whole mirror thing. And then we did a, a display shelf up top. So you can have a couple of things and maybe a little art piece or whatever up there. The built-in coffee maker is awesome with the Keurig attachment. You gotta have that. You gotta have your coffee in the morning. And uh, we got a nice wine fridge here. Oh yeah. So I've got all the good wines. Even Andrew, you'll notice that the uh, wine bottles match ah, the coach. Yes so, sir, true story. Not our wine, but uh, it, they do match the coach. And the cherry, and the cherry uh, that top, fits, fits right in exactly, cherry on top. So one of the other things we did here is we tried to simplify some of the button button panels and get rid of a lot of the excess buttons that you can normally find. So normally there's 
two groups of 10 and then another group of 10 I believe above or five just a lot of extra buttons we tried to simplify this as much as possible make more global buttons so we have an all shades or day shades uh, up and down so uh, as opposed to having each individual shade and then even we went as far as hiding some extra buttons yeah. to hide this panel just to try to clean the look up and um, just make it a nicer finish and focus more on the lights versus uh, all the extra panels no I like it I definitely like it and you know while we're chatting here I've got to point out this painting did you have any say in the design I just what a great looking painting so again this is amber and then I think this uh, this uh, person here that signed it she is a Newell customer or they are a Newell customer I'm not 100% sure and they just do the paintings for them so they've owned Newell's before I don't know if they still own one but they have a relationship with the factory and they come up with this so you will notice that there is an X pattern in the white again not yeah. the nachos and then we also own a motorcycle team and so that she put a tire track oh the, the that's too there. cool just little things we didn't ask for any of that but um they she just took it with what we had mentioned her over the three days of uh, what we like and what we don't like and uh, came back with some great looking artwork the artwork in the back is uh, amazing as well nice well can we keep cruising through the coach absolutely um, we'll start with the powder room here yes sir We've got the uh, air doors Wow so a little bit different sort of a fun tile in here we wanted to um, express ourselves as much as possible but also make it if somebody really didn't like one of the key features it wouldn't be that hard to retile this bathroom if you really wanted to so we went with on it uh sorry quartz tops here these are backlit as well a little hard to see with all the light going on in the room but those are backlit we got the uh, suede walls which are really nice oh look at that that's real suede wow I really like how they did that Corian surround. It just ties everything in uh, so well. Uh, we have a bidet in the powder room, which is nice. One of the things I have to mention, so this faucet here that we really liked, I had bought that maybe six months or a couple months before we ordered the coach for our office, because I just liked the look of it. We didn't end up using it. So I asked Newell, I said, could we possibly use this in the powder room? They said, oh, absolutely. It, you know, met the criteria, it was small, so they liked it. And they actually gave us on our invoice a credit back for what they normally would charge for the powder room faucet compared to what we supplied. Wow. Which I think is just awesome. They didn't have to do that. We didn't ask for any money back. They had a little bit of time to figure out how to install it, which I think would have easily made up the value. But, you know, they had a value of, say, $250 for a faucet. We supplied it. We got a credit back for um, a good part of that. And I thought that was just a really really well how they treat their customers and and you get what you pay for just a good way of doing business yeah very honest i really like that faucet well chosen and adam and i did do a, an entire video i'll leave a link to that video in the description below where he talks more about the whole design process and i shared a lot of great information in that video so um as soon as that video is live i'll make sure that link is in the description below we got our fridge here this is the fisker Paikal fridge a uh, nice big fridge dual doors and open which is nice, lots of fridge space. And then big freezer here. Oh yeah. So I've got the, uh, I think you got the Crown Royal yes, freezer. Sir. Yes, sir. That. I am not officially sponsored by Crown Royal, but <laughs> yes, should sir. be. So if anybody's listening out there. I've got to point out too, the hardware, is that that, it's not a carbon fiber, but really cool design. Yeah, it's got that same diamond stitch to it. So she's used this on the, on the sink, on the fridge here and then the fridge here. Um, also on that handle, even on the coffee table remote holder, like it all ties together, which is just amazing what they do. Absolutely. And you were telling me about the line here on the refrigerator, how you d had some something customized uh, here with this line or? Well, they are going to hate us because now everybody else that owns a Newell coach might recognize that there's a little bit of a difference here. So when they first built it, they put a standard uh, freezer door on this that matched but it, it just cut off about here to allow ample cooling of the freezer. And I just, I have crazy OCD and wanted it to match and line up here. And um, James, my engineer that I worked with, he was, uh, wasn't so sure it was gonna work with the, you know, giving the fridge ample cooling, but I explained how much opening we had, should be fine. So he ran with it and they actually remade this piece for us after, uh, after the coach was finished uh, to carry out that detail that I had in my head. So they didn't have to do that by any means, but um, really great. This is also another cool thing. Um, one of my customers 
uh, from my company saw a picture of the coach and found us this material and custom embroidered um, our little tea towels for nice, it. So it's just nice. amazing what, uh, what people do um, to find this kind of stuff and they put everybody puts a lot of effort uh, to be able to create something like this. Yeah, absolutely. All right, coming back, um, do you want to see the door? Yeah, first? sure, yeah, let's see the door, door yeah. The door is pretty cool. This is again, all amber, not us. Nice. Look, and uses that, I think we told her industrial was one of our um, sort of looks that we like. So we started with the industrial. That's probably where the concrete floors came into play and some of this more um, geometric shapes with the diamond pattern uh, over the, the windows. I think that was kind of what led off to some of that stuff. Nice. And then this is what, uh, this is the heart of the beast. It's not the yes. engine in the back, Andrew. Yes, sir. So this is the uh, audio visual system here that we put in. Wow. Um, so we got this, uh, Played up here to commemorate the work that both my company, AB Spaces, and Newell did to put this coach together. It was definitely a uh, a labor of love, Andrew. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, that's uh, you said you had about 500 hours into the design of this. Probably close to that, and all the work, and you know, flying the people out to work on it. It was definitely a lot of work, but we got exactly what we wanted, which is uh, all you can ask for. So. We've got, um, here's our audio system up here. We've got amplification, we've got DSP, we've got surround decoding, we've got, this is all QSC. So QSC is very cool. Uh, they use this technology where we can put audio on the network. Um, so we have a full Cisco uh, network system that we can bounce audio anywhere over the network and it all comes out on this. So uh, the sky's the limit with what you want to do for uh, moving audio. So the dash audio comes back here, gets processed, goes back to the dash through the amplifier. We've got audio going out to the ent entertainment bay all over the network. So the great thing about that, which a lot of companies struggle with, is interference. You've got all these wires in tight spaces. You've got 12 volts, you've got 24 volts, you've got 120 all running side by side because you don't have a lot of room to separate all this cabling. You end up, when you turn on a device that has a motor in it, you get noise. So people try to ground stuff and it just becomes a huge issue in a coach like this to try to do a high-end audio type system. So basically everything we've used here is shielded Cat6 cable and it's all put over the, the network. So we really are just sending packets of audio, not analog audio any distance whatsoever. So we can really cut down on a lot of opportunity for that noise. Really, I just wanted to utilize every all the speakers and all the technology we had in the coach. So um, in my mind, it was pretty simple program programming wise was a little bit more difficult, but we made this work. So basically we have three areas in the salon here. We've got the overhead cab where we've got a 49 inch TV. We've got the salon, which has a 65 inch TV. And then we have a dinette, small TV here, 32 inch TV. So generally you have surround sound in the salon and then you have the TV speakers for the overhead TV and you have the TV speakers for this 32 inch TV in the, in the dinette. What we've done is just worked out the system to prioritize the audio system. So if the overhead TV is not on and the salon is not on, this speaker right here, we sum everything to mono and whatever source is on this TV comes out of the speaker. So we have a better sounding TV speaker in this case. If the salon is not on and the overhead is on, then we get the right front speaker and the right rear surround speaker from the salon turns into the left and right speaker for whatever audio is going to the overhead TV plus the cab subwoofer becomes the 2.1 channel sound system for the overhead TV it's pretty cool and then if the salon turns on it overrides everything and becomes a full 5.1 surround sound system with the cab sub as well and then if the cab is on and all these zones are off, then it becomes the subwoofer for that uh, system in the front. So just utilizing all the products we have here and moving the audio around because we have that DSP sound system in the back, we can do that kind of stuff. So it really is um, just programming and the ability to have the uh, DSP that we can modify the system and just utilize the stuff. Again, this is what we do, which is you know unusual to have a customer that knows about this kind of stuff that wants to help out. So we've got some, our music streamer here. We've got uh, DVR for the cameras. 
We've got two Apple TVs. We've got two HD Direct TVs. So we got the HD dish on the roof. Uh, we didn't get the in motion satellite on this one because we only used it once in the King Air. So we just have the stationary one. We have a big restaurant switcher here. So we have eight input, eight, eight outputs. outputs. Um, and we have all the cameras can feed here. We can show cameras on any of the TVs. Everything's over the network and then processor and UPS. So this is the heart of the beast right here. And uh, a lot of a lot of work went into this. Nice bedroom. Yeah. So the design does not stop throughout the whole coach. What's going on here, sir? Here in the bedroom, uh, we went with the. Uh, Newell's got a couple of options. We went with a smaller bed. This is the queen size bed versus the king size bed. Um, we don't really need the king size. We wanted more cabinet space. And uh, Newell, we felt that they were a little lacking on the storage when we got at the front of the bus. But as we moved back, there is so much storage in this, I don't think we'd ever be able to fill it up. It's just amazing. Uh, we keep finding big pockets of storage. So really great. We got deeper cabinets here. So these are wardrobe cabinets, um, cabinets across the bottom. Again, we did the lit, uh, uh, lit countertop here and the lit countertop on the nightstands, uh, which is just nice. More cabinet space here. We got a hamper, a built-in hamper here, which is nice. So what Newell uh, has started to offer is you have three options. You have a TV that they can mount on the wall here, this is in the bedroom, or you can do a pop-up TV. And if you do the TV here, you miss the big window, which is unfortunate. If you do a pop-up TV, you miss, you miss all of these drawers, or they've started to do a projector. Um, so what I didn't like, and it's mainly due to sheer laziness, is <laughs> if you're in bed and you wanna watch TV, you've gotta get up and open up this cabinet to get to the projector. So the projector shines through. Well, knowing what I know, uh, we actually got a piece of projection glass. This is a dual anti-reflective glass that they customized and built in there. So we can actually keep this cabinet closed and have the projector come on. Nice, Good nice. Choice. So I think that's a first I've ever seen that. Do you know if anyone's ever done that before? I would put a lot of money <laughs> Maybe not this much money, but a lot of money that it's never been done before. It's very unusual uh, to see that. It's mainly for, you know, movie houses or stuff like that where they have the projection in another room is the only real reason that you'd need something like that. But I didn't want the noise or the have to open the door just to get the projector turned on. We created, um, we 3D printed an intake uh, manifold for the projector that draws the cold air from here. And then we exhaust this whole cabinet through this cabinet into the back behind the uh, material here for an exit. So we created enough distance between the intake and the exhaust uh, to keep the projector cool. So nice. a lot of work went into that. And, but Newell was very happy with our wanting to help them out, you know, solve this problem and make it exactly what we wanted. And as I say, uh, we did the, the 3D modeling and all the calculations on the airflow that it needed and they were happy to install it so nice so we've got the fish there she has these books here um that i don't even know what they are yet the year <laughs> of fear and then we got the horse i really like that horse the only problem with the horse is it does block a little bit of the picture uh but uh really like the horse so the horse is going to stay for now nice um, and then we got the plants even the green plants that's all them and this comes all pre-stuck down here's another one of those rugs yeah um, the front so they've got this configurator on this website that they send you to, and you can choose whatever design you want, and you pick the colors that you want in each of the different sections and design whatever you want. So they're not cheap, but this is a, like a, a fake cowhide. So it's really, really durable, and it will stand up to a lot of traffic. Yeah, they just picked out all the nice fabrics for us, and I really like this throw that they oh, yeah. uh, for us. So I think we chose this fabric and this fabric separately, and they custom made these um, throw rugs for us, or throw uh, blankets for us. Uh, all the sheets and everything are made by Newell uh, for the bed. They gave us a couple different uh, sets of sheets, which is really nice. Uh, a little bit different design with the rounded stuff, so we don't have to worry about sheets, uh, pillows and everything it all came with. So it's just almost move in ready with Amber's design package with all the plates and the cups and everything. So really, 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 really nice. Yeah, and, and the artwork here, I mean, the reds just really... And these two match. If you put them together, oh, they yeah. actually match. Um, and then they split them for this. So really good. Again, this this artist here um, is a previous Newell owner or current Newell owner, I'm not sure. But they do have a relationship with the factory. And I, they just gave them the color scheme, color palette that we chose. And 
did their own thing. Yeah, and I see that X there, uh, kind of there's in the another painting. X there, another, there's another X here. Yeah, so. a lot of subtle little uh, little stuff. Um, and then the door is this. Uh, can we close that yep. pocket door? This is the pocket door. And this is that geometric shape that uh, I want to show you outside in the paint yeah. that we used uh, throughout. So really cool. It's uh, I think they call it a circuit uh, circuit board pattern. Um, was what the manufacturer uh, called this design. So a lot of Newell's, uh, if you remember, maybe 10 years ago, they used that hexagon shape on the outside yeah. of the paint. So I wanted something that was a little different than just the standard hexagon shape. So this circuit board sort of works with what we do for a living with the uh, audio video technology and the coach. Nice. Welcome to the bathroom. Yeah, it's a huge rear bathroom here, and I'm just just awed with every square inch of this coach. What uh, what's all going on here? So uh, first of all, we like this pattern uh, that Amber found for us for the tile, uh, but due to COVID, they couldn't get it, and we really liked it. I'm sure we could have chosen something else. So they actually found a manufacturer to make them the same tile that they had suggested to us in the design meeting and custom made this tile for us. So again, um, we easily would have made an alternate choice, but Amber really wanted to go with this. And then it carries through to the shower. Um, and then the center tile, it's a, just doesn't have grout around it. That's actually the drain for the shower. So I know a lot of them, a lot of people are using the linear style drains. This is, I think, a notch above that when you yeah. can't tell where the drain is. Okay. The... I literally can see all of the drains and all of these new, I'm trying to find it now. Oh, literally it took me that long to be able to find the drain. It's actually right here. You could barely see that. That's a, it's something new that this coach has that I haven't seen before. Another thing. And then what is going on here? So that's that same hexagon shaped panel or hexagon shaped veneer. And then we actually have a backlight. So if you want to look at the, uh, the shower panels there, we can actually change this has full RGB lighting behind them. So if you really want to get crazy and have different colors in your shower, you can do that. Just kind of nice trick uh, that they suggested. And then we actually put in this uh, Moen digital control unit here um, without wanting to turn the shower on completely. Oh, so nice. It'll actually, so it lights up and it's Alexa controlled and it gives your temperature and everything and you can have different presets. So kind of a cool thing. We just didn't want the regular faucets. We wanted a little bit more high tech and digital. And then that marble that she found for us for behind there is really, really cool. Really happy with that. Yeah, that's a shower unlike anything I've ever seen. What else is going on? Uh, so we have this cool little light, uh, leather light fixture here. Um, we decided to go with the tubes. There was a little bit of an homage to their older style um, coaches. They had these, uh, these glass tubes that light up and create that nice effect. We got a heated towel bar, which is super nice. We don't have one of these at home yet. <laughs> I see this happening in our future. Nice. And again, just more storage for stuff up here is just amazing. And then, so this area right here is my storage for my clothes. <laughs> and then basically the rest of the couch uh, is my wife. So we've got, this is all cedar line closet. We've got um, a Dyson vacuum that they built in for us in there. We've got the stackable washer dryers, the, the Ascos. Uh, washer dryers which are nice and these all go in to make all the extra room yep. as we've seen on the other newels um, so just really really good solid um solid design this is the quartz again backlit another cool little it's a cool little faucet that they she found for us you just turn it oh that's like neat. this and uh goes cold to hot which is nice so just really well designed um the light panel up here uh, it's also an escape hatch, I guess, if you're on your side. I'm not sure uh, when you'd want to use that or need to use that. I hope to never use that. But um, again, just really, really quality uh, hardware. Again, the leather line, the red leather lined wow. um, dividers and everything. It's just, they really went over the top. And again, the plants and the, the red soap is all chosen by them just to give us that accent. So really, really great. We're very happy. All right. I'm blown away by the interior of this coach, but you want to take us uh, on a tour of the outside of the coach? Let's do it, Andrew. All right. There's a lot of interesting stuff going on, but let's take a look inside of these basement bays here. It's kind of a special one, Andrew. So we have the uh, the big grill here, again, with all that carbon that we saw on the inside. 
And really, so, th really so a front kitchen in bay one here, and that red carbon fiber, what, what an incredible look. I mean, really, unlike anything I've ever seen anybody do, wow. Comes out quite far, you can get to extra stuff. So we got storage in here. Got an iPad for outside control. We've got all the grilling trays. Again, everything's all finished out. We got spider control. I can put the awnings out from in here. Nice. Just another, another little hidden panel. Um, got all the barbecue utensils and stuff in here. This is kind of a cool feature. So this is a somewhere in here. Plug this in. This is a light. Oh yeah. From a mixing console. So again, we do audio video. So this is a light that they'd plug in for a mixing console. So we uh, tried to give a little bit of homage here to what we do for a living. Nice. Has a barbecue light, so it's kind of cool. Yeah. And then we got a, a big grill here with a griddle and a burner. And then this, Andrew, has all these pop-ups. Give you a little bit more space. You got one here. You got big extra countertop there. Wow. We got built-in garbage, so people are throwing their um, umbrellas from their drinks. You know, they got somewhere to yep. throw them. So. Oh, that's cool little trash chute. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Well thought out. That's a lot of equipment that go comes out of Bay One there. And we're gonna talk more about this paint job. A lot going on in this paint job, but let's keep uh, cruising through these bays. Bay Two, Andrew. We've got uh, what everybody else likes. Uh, when you got your meal, you got to have. Uh, your drink so uh bay two here you've got your dometic refrigerator freezer yeah, and we went with the not the dual zone just the single zone you can get a couple more beers in here andrews yeah of we'll the extra large space absolutely um bay three could be your electronics bay yeah and in this case um so uh some people put a little toolbox in here i've even heard rumors of mark martin's little red toolbox that he has so Tried to one up him. So, this is just a Milwaukee pack out. So, they made me a little stop here. So, I undo the stop. Then I can slide this oh, out. Oh, yeah. And then I can remove any of these that I want. If I want to get to uh, plumbing, for example, I can just remove the top two. I've got all my plumbing supplies. Nice. So really, really uh, cool system. And it's locked in. So, this is physically locked to the tray here. So, it's not going to fall out. Um, extra storage. So, this is the plumbing bay. Or, this is the electrical bay. Put a little lock on that. Yeah, uh, entertainment bay here. So we've got a 55 inch TV here. And this is again on the uh, motorized swing arm. Yeah, and right away I noticed that you've got that red carbon fiber. That's a lot of that carbon fiber in this coach. And funny, Andrew, it didn't make the coach any lighter, which is uh, surprised me with all the carbon fiber. Yeah, yeah, well. So this is uh this is the part of the outdoor system so these are myers speakers uh they're from berkeley california um i can imagine uh, most of you haven't heard of meyer before but they do all big touring um, sound systems so dave matthews metallica all only use meyer sound so really really good so we got two of those there and then we got a big 10 inch sub here so this really is a amazing outdoor sound system nice Aqua Hot 675. Buy the big one, which is nice. Yeah, and you know, while we're, we're going through this coach here, I'm sure the folks on YouTube are, are looking at this paint job and all of the different patterns here. Not only does it have the crazy paint job, but it's got these wheels with the lugs. You, you want to tell us a little bit about your paint job and the whole exterior design of this coach? So, uh, as you might have seen in one of your previous videos that I'm sure you'll leave a link to, this is Linda Jordan's. Um, final coach that she did with Newell, um, 1722. Uh, we just wanted something really different. Uh, there was a couple coaches that we liked uh, that she used as a reference and then we just finally said, just do something crazy and see if we like it. So she came up with this paint scheme, uh, really cool. So it's using reds, blacks, silvers, and whites. Um, this is that same circuit board pattern that we saw on the inside that they blended in here just to give us a little bit of uh, geometric shape on the outside. Um, this is a nice red. It's bright red in the center and then on either end it fades to a uh, Cabernet darker red, uh, which is really cool. And then um, we saw another coach that we liked that was very, very black. It was matte black. And um, so we kind of liked 
the concept of that, but we didn't know how to use it um, in our scheme. So what we did, Andrew, is we have this shape here, this jagged shape, and we actually matted just the jagged part, which is a little unusual, uh, but we thought it worked well for us. And then I liked how um, people are doing the ghosting now using the plain white and the pearl white to give you that ghosting effect. But of course I wanted to do something different. So we're actually using two different metallic blacks here to give us a kind of uh, comparison to that white ghosting. So this is uh, the shiny, shiny black is um, black diamond tricoat. It's a uh, Cadillac color from their CTSV and then a regular metallic black just to give it a little bit of a difference uh, between them. And then with the mat over it, I think it looks really cool. And this logo that's built into this mat uh, stripe is actually the basis for our corporate logo. So it's just kind of hidden in there. It gives a little homage again without being super in your face. Yeah, no, I, I definitely, when I saw this coach at the factory, I couldn't get over this paint job. I've never seen another coach that mixes the matte colors with the high gloss colors. And then I've got to also point out like these big drop shadows right here. There's a lot of intricate detail um, that, that the camera doesn't necessarily catch out. And then that ghosting and fading, you could see that this pattern kind of slowly fades and then slowly disappears here. Just an incredible, stunning uh, coach here. Yeah, there's a lot of work on this, Andrew. And again, so it did the paint and then it got out of paint and then they did the cut and buff, I believe, because the awnings were delayed. Then they had to go back in with the awnings, paint the awnings, put all the stripes on the awnings because our graphics go over the awnings, as you can see. And then back to cut and buff, then to ceramic and do the ceramic coating, then back to paint to matte clear the jagged and retape everything again. So um, it spent quite a lot of time in paint. So. Yeah, yeah, so no, but one other thing you're talking about the big awning. So it's got the big like bat wing awnings on both sides, but I don't know if the, I don't know if you folks on YouTube are noticing no window awnings. So it gives that completely flat flush look down the whole side of the coach. What was your thought process on that, sir? Uh, we just ended up not really using the window awnings on the previous coach. And again, you had a lot of wind noise from those awnings. So we're trying to cut back and make it as sort of as quiet as possible, especially at the front. They normally do a big uh, front door awning that sticks out and, and it just doesn't really look very attractive. Um, and then it just, with the wind noise, we just decided to delete it, make it a nice clean palette and uh, really, really happy with that. And then I love the bat wing awnings. I was so jealous every time I saw those. So we could just put those out three feet, cover over the slides and give us enough window awning and you can still have them out that far in a reasonable amount of wind it's when you have them fully extended that the wind tends to pick them up and put them back in so i think it's uh, best of both both worlds yeah well, it wasn't cheap but it was the best of both worlds but uh, to newell's credit they pre-wired in case the next owner wants to add those window awnings and we did receive a credit for the window awnings that we didn't use so very very fair in working with us nice nice now these wheels uh, I've seen blacked out wheels, but these are a little different. What's the story on the wheels? So I really wanted something that was different. And uh, I've seen a lot of people do the, the black and then they did the high gloss black, then they did the matte black powder coated. And I wanted to retain some of the shine and the depth, especially on these uh, bigger drive axles. So um, I found a shop in California called California Chrome or Cal Chrome in Valencia and they specialize in, in a process called black chroming. So actually got Newell, they sent the, the wheels to them, they polished them all up and they did this black chrome finish to it and then they asked if I wouldn't mind uh, trying something different on the, the wheel lugs. So they painted the wheel lugs the same color as the bright red here. And then on these wheels, this is just a plastic cap and they were able, so when you, powder coat you can't powder coat plastic so you have to paint it then it kind of looks off so they did a their black comb finish on the caps here and then they taped off the lug nut covers to make it look like the other dry back so a lot of extra work went into those that um just to make a difference big four here uh i got a little sidetrack there on this paint job but uh let's keep cruising through these bays so this is just uh the other side of the diesel tank and the batteries yeah so again they polish them up um, normally Newell gives you one uh, drip uh, cloth for the gas tank, which I thought 
you know, if you're spending this kind of money, can you just throw in an extra one? So they were obliged to be by throwing in the extra bib. So <laughs> nice. a bib on both sides. Maybe they don't do it because they, they love the look of the stainless polish. But anyway, I just wanted an extra one and they were very happy to uh, to take care of me on that. So nice. then we got the um, uh, big house batteries there. I believe there's six of them in this coach, six or eight. I'm nice. not sure, so. We have the side access to the engine compartment. Yeah. Now we put this power washer to work yesterday. Works great. Um, we tried to kind of clean some of this stuff up. We got, we got it looking a little bit better, but. Uh... So even um, Andrew on this one, the pressure washer, we got this plumbed into hot water. So I didn't, they normally do it in cold water, but obviously as you know, hot water cleans, especially gets uh, the oils off that we get on the road. So they actually just hooked it up to, to the hot water and with the diesel burner runner and the electric on high, um, this thing gave us tons of hot water and we were able to wash the coach. This Newell, this is uh, usually chrome here. Um, that's blacked out. And then you also have a fade uh, from the silver to the black and then back to the silver and then a pattern within that. A lot going on there. Yeah, so this is kind of the, um, I call it the tramp stamp of the RV sort of thing. <laughs> they didn't like that at Newell, but uh, you know, I just, I was, so we've got the big X here that you can see again, following the pattern that we've chosen earlier. Uh, we've got a, uh, the AV Spaces logo up there in the mat. And then that actually forms a W for my last name. Um, and then with the Newell logo, uh, because I didn't want chrome, uh, we moved it up a little higher and then they metallic the paint on the Newell and then added a matte vinyl to it. So you got a nice sort of outline of the shiny uh, behind the matte. So that turned out really, really well. That might or might not have been an accident of how they <laughs> did that, but I think it turned out really well. And then we've got the camera up on the top. So we have on this coach, we've got the 360 camera. We've got the left and right mirror cameras. We've got the left and right fuel door cameras. We've got a front camera. We've got a separate rear camera. We've got two trailer inputs um, for uh, trailer cameras. We've got an interior camera. And then I added two more cameras on the roof. So if I'm ever pulling into somewhere where I don't know what the height is, if it's not marked, or if I see some tree branches that I'm concerned of, I can actually pull up two separate cameras that just monitor the very roof. If we ever hit something, it's gonna be those cameras first. So nice. uh, lots of cameras, lots of visual places to check on things uh, to try to keep this paint job safe. You did one other thing on this coach that I've never seen on any other Newell coach up front. You wanna show us that? Absolutely. So it's a little bit hard to see in the sunlight, but as you can see, there's paint on both sides of the front cap and way up there. Kind of hard to see with the camera, but what uh, what's going on here, sir? So we've got the sort of devil horns that we painted in. They weren't supposed to be devil horns. They don't mean anything, but <laughs> we just got them, uh, some of the red paint coming down there um, to go along with. We wanted the front fairly plain, fairly simple. So we just got the X's down below and then when you're parked, especially at MCC, when everybody's got their show off lights on, um, the front of the coach is pretty plain. So um, I actually asked them to mount RGB lighting underneath the spoiler. So we got the bottom will glow and the top will glow and it's on the same circuit as the awning RGB. So it really wasn't any, uh, a lot of extra work, but it does have uh, RGB lights underneath that spoiler. And we are told that this is the most RGB circuits they've ever put on a coach. Nice. So it's got a lot of, a lot of color. This is a little bit different on this. Uh, this has one of my favorite features of the whole coach. So again, this is the standard uh, solution they did here with the red carbon fiber and the new touch panel. Yep. Um, what I wanted here on the uh, cleanup and the fresh water field, normally you get this plastic female uh, connector and you're screwing it in and cross threading it or whatever. So these are actually quick release um, connectors oh, they put quick on these. Connects. Nice. So it's kind of cool. You won't damage them. You'll never have to replace these. And I can just screw on the adapter onto the hose. Um, they've got an, um, a water faucet here, just a water bib or whatever. But as you know, with uh, dogs, they constantly need their water bowl filled. So I actually got them to put in a pot filler here. Oh, nice. On the outside that pulls out. So you're not dripping water in the coach. Just pull out the pot filler, turn on the handle and uh, fill up the dog bowl. Nice. So really, really like that feature that they did for us. This has the uh, gray water bypass, um, which is uh, convenient if you don't have, if you have a place to dump the gray water. And then we went with the SantaCon as our primary versus the gravity dump. I just like the SantaCon, it's a little bit better uh, for our applications. We can pump it if we need to a little bit further away. So 
we have the SantaCon hooked up as our primary uh, way of getting rid of the uh, waste in the black tank. So everything's just really well finished. Um, got the knobs to turn everything off. So very happy with how this turned out. Yeah, absolutely. And again, this is real carbon fiber. That's not some vinyl fake stuff that's gonna peel off. That's the real deal. So these cameras, this is part of the 360 camera solution. And uh, by default, they paint all the camera housings black. And I was like, hey guys, uh, I got a really nice red paint job. So they actually custom painted these two camera cameras for me. I just love the way that they, they didn't argue. They could see that that made sense and therefore just went ahead and did it. So I really appreciate all the extra, extra, extra effort that they put in at the factory to make this exactly what I wanted. All right, guys, my favorite bay, Adam's polishes with all the holders. Really done well, Adam. Not my company, but I like their polishes and I like their bottle racks. Uh, so we got uh, our wash mitts. We've got our uh, windshield washer scrubber here, uh, foam cannon, and then a ladder for the roof. I'll, and then we got this tray here. There wasn't much room after you get the big barbecue, so I just wanted to use the space um, somehow, and this uh, worked out quite well. Hey, Adam, I can't thank you enough for the opportunity to see this beautiful coach. Any other words that you might have for the folks out on YouTube? I just really appreciate you guys checking this out, and um, we put a lot, a lot of work into this, and I'm really proud of it and how it turned out, and the guys at Newell did a great job, and I appreciate Andrew uh, getting a, a way of showing everybody the coach. I can't thank you enough for taking the time and sharing so much great information. And, and keep in mind, you know, Adam is an owner of the coach here, uh, not a salesperson, so I really appreciate an unbiased opinion, so can't thank you enough for taking, I know your time is extremely valuable, so I really appreciate it. So uh, also really appreciate all of you out there on YouTube liking these videos and subscribing to the channel. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Thank you guys, appreciate it.